Hi everyone, it is Sue Ferreira here from Wisdom to Wealth Mastery and welcome to my Facebook Live where we're going to look at how choice, chance and change can really influence your life. Maybe it's a good time to start thinking about what you can do, what choices you can make, what chances you can take to change your life and your business for the better in the next few months. If you don't know me, my name is Sue Ferreira. I've just said that, uh, but I, I have a business called Wisdom to Wealth Mastery where I really want to help you, especially if you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur. I want to help you take your wisdom to the world to create an added income for you, but also for your clients because this kind of process has a triple down effect. So I'm planning to do a series of face Facebook Lives showing you how incredibly simple it is to take your message, your wisdom to the world these days. And, and my focus is on video because we all know that this is the most powerful way you can take your message to the world. But I want you to know that everything I do is, and everything I show you is focused on being the most simple and the most effective way to take your message to the world. Having got that out of the way, I'm actually going to look over here and make sure that my my video is going live and it looks as though it is. And before I start, what I'd really like you to do is make a comment in the box below. Make a comment in the box below about what you feel is your biggest roadblock. What's holding you back most from reaching the audience that you want to reach, from creating the influence, the impact, and eventually the income that you want to make with your business, for the world, helping people, all that, um, all those good things, because we're only into good things. We're not looking at the negative stuff, okay? If you could put that in the comment box below and see, let me see, once again, I'm having a quick look here and if you could put that in the comment box below as to what it is that you feel is is maybe frustrating you or overwhelming you at the moment about taking your business to a much wider world let me just go now to my screen with a, a, power, a, a keynote presentation I've I've made here and really I'm going back to this question and I'm going to ask you are you ready to make a choice to take a chance to change your life because change is a is a common theory a common kind of thread through my presentation and you know I've, I've been in the entrepreneurial world for my second act for a few years now and one of the things that just hits me home hard is how difficult it is, it is for many folks and especially women to keep up with the mass of information and new tech coming at all of us today. So if you want to learn how to take advantage of the new tech, take advantage of all these incredible ways we have today to take your message to the world, then stay tuned with me and stay tuned with me while I go through a whole series of, of simple texts that will help you take your message to the world. Because as I said already, what I see is a huge number of women who, excuse me, going over here now, a huge number of women especially who are frustrated by all of this tech that's going on around them. I, I, I'll come to my story, just a little bit of my story in a few minutes, but what I find so often is I, I meet these incredible, wonderful small business owners, entrepreneurs, and I say most of my clients are women, but certainly not exclusively women and and they're overwhelmed because you know they already had a business they're really working hard they got a family as well you know we kind of have to remember we have a family and yet at the same time this massive change has happened in the last few years that has made them feel quite lost when it comes to what to do because I mean there's this kind of mush mushrooming of change going on out there and it confuses a lot of folks quite, quite, <laughs> quite understandably. And what I want to do with my my talks um, over the next little while is 
is get rid of all that confusion. I mean, how much better would you feel? Let me know in the box, in the comment box below. How much better would you feel if you didn't have the frustration, you didn't have the overwhelm, you didn't have the confusion of all this massive of tech. You had someone to show you simply and easily how to take your message to the world. And I mean, the technology is incredible. I'm using uh, a system here today called Ecamm Live. I'm going to put the link eventually in the comment box below when I'm done. So if you want a really simple, and I've already done a video on this on YouTube, which I think is ranking like number three on YouTube right now. So if you want to take your message to the world using simple tech, doing what I'm doing, I'll put the link to Ecamm Live in the box below. And, um, and then you can have a look at this tech I mean, it's fantastic. It's like a 29, 20, 29 one-time pay, and um, and it works really, really well. Now, my next one, I'm going to be using BeLive.tv. I'll show you how that one works as well. Again, it's very, very simple. There is no barrier to entry these days, and it's incredibly simple once you know which buttons to push, and not the emotional ones. I'm not into pushing emotional buttons, but once you know which buttons to push, you will find that this whole process becomes so much simpler because I know I get the word from so many, so many of the people I work with that, oh, I have too many tabs open on my brain. I don't know which tab to look at. And I am totally frustrated, overwhelmed and confused, as I said already. But along with this overwhelm and this confusion and this not having a clear path forward, I think what happens is you find, at least this is what I find with the folks that I have as clients, is that they feel that they've really become isolated in the last little while, that they feel for a while, you know, when they work within their own community in, in this world, you you have an audience that you know, you can meet in networking, you can, you can become known, like and trusted within your own community in the real world. But with everything happening where now we've, we've, we've gone to another, another whole huge limit where you can take your message to the world online, if you don't know how to do that, suddenly, if you don't know how to scale, and scaling is really, really important these days, if you don't know how to take your message that's working well in your own community to the world, you end up feeling like a best kept secret. And so many folks I know, I said, you feel like a best kept secret, oh, and how? And, you know, I use this slide, which is what my daughter took on Mount Kenya in Ken in, uh, in Kenya. And, uh, you know, it's a poor little lonely lobelia plant that's trying to hide from the world up a mountain. And this is really like, this is kind of a metaphor for, for us. We can sometimes feel we are totally on our own, we're hidden, and we're way up a mountain and nobody can find us. And, you know, sometimes we are just as invisible if we're in the middle of a massive cloud. I mean, this is like, where's Waldo, right? So in the middle of a massive crowd, who is there in this picture that you would identify as standing out? Well, maybe there's a champagne bottle in the middle of the picture, which is always a good thing. But, but you feel invisible. You are not being seen to the world. So before I go on and talk a little bit, a little bit more about how to be seen. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes for those of you who don't already know me to tell you a little bit about my story. I'm here in my second act. I spent 44 years as an anesthesiologist working um, in always in academic university centers and we always had a bad hair day. See, I mean, it's nice now. I can actually kind of dress up for the day and I don't have a bad hair day and I'm not wearing god awful greens. You know, some people actually steel greens and wear them on the street and I think why would you do that because they're the most god-awful things anyway that was my first that was my first world for 44 years and for various reasons which I'm not going to go into now as I retired I moved into this new world of, of of helping you take your wisdom to the world I know it's very strange not many people go from medicine to marketing or to video but there's a story behind it which I'll tell you another day but basically I just see that with all this change that's happening and with all this confusion and overwhelm which I've already talked about it's very difficult for a lot of people to see where we're going in the future and one other kind of characteristic of me and I think this is probably the most re the most 
uh, potent reason that I'm doing this is, is uh, if I hadn't done medicine, I would have been a, uh, I'd have been a historian without any doubt. I've always, even, you know, while I was practicing as an anesthesiologist, I was always, always reading history. And if you read history, then you're always looking back and then you're looking at today, which is an interesting time, you've got to admit. And then I'm always looking forward into the future. We have this tech revolution. We have this, well, revolution in many, many areas of our lives going on. And I just happen to love tech. And I know how it works. And I know how simple it's become. Even in the last five years, it has become incredibly simple. In the last year, with the arrival of Facebook Live, which I'm using right now, everything has changed. And in the last couple of months as well, it has become, like it's become so very, very simple for us all now to use tech to take our message to the world. So if you uh, are up to taking your message uh, to the world via simple tech, let me know in the chat, in the comment box below. And um, also, you know, what kind of tech questions are bugging you? Let me know. I'd love to gather what you need to know. Now, I mean, I reckon I know what I'd love to teach you over the next few months, but it's way, way better if I actually know what is what your roadblocks are. So once again, just in the comment box below, let me know what you need to know and we can we can do it because I tell you it's simple. Like don't get overwhelmed. It is simple these days. I love tech and I see this kind of oh we live on this kind of film strip of life, don't we? We live on the never ending story. And if you look at what's coming up in the future, it is quite amazing. Now, I began my journey, and again, I'm not going to go into it now. I began my change from being a physician to heading down this path, which I had absolutely no idea I was heading down. It all came out of the financial crash in 2008, where, because I'm a leading edge baby boomer, which is kind of an expression I don't like anyway, but it's one in common use. Because I was a leading edge baby boomer, I saw what was happening to so many folks as, you know, basically as... As things changed after the financial crash, and I firmly believe we're not out of that crash, that things will go on being um, a challenge for a while, and that we really all need to take take our future into our own hands if we can. Because so many people have come up to me and said, okay, so you're talking about this, but why does it matter to me? And I think it really matters because of this comment we like I said, we're still getting this fallout from the 2008 crash, and I think this comment from Warren Buffett says it all. If you don't find a way to make money in your sleep, you will work until you die. And we all know that small business owners don't have um, pensions usually. They don't have income that is coming in passively. And what we have right now with the web it offers you an opportunity to make money in your sleep. Because frankly, I don't want to work until I die. And at some stage, uh, you know, we like to get off that hamster wheel of life. I mean, if you were 99, do you still really want to be peddling hard in your business? And there are factors working in the world that are making it more difficult for businesses. Certainly if you're in Canada right now, there's a lot of discussion and anger um, about the current government's move to basically make it a little bit more difficult for people who are entrepreneurs and small businesses. I Personally, I think this is incredibly short-sighted. But we're not going to get into politics and I'm not going to have a rant. But it really is true that if you haven't got a way to make money in your sleep, it's going to be very, very difficult ever to slow down that hamster wheel of life and get off, so, and get off it and smell the roses. My whole mission is to show you how to take your message to the world take it so that and create courses so that you can slow down that hamster wheel, make money in your sleep and basically slow down in some way or another. In many ways, I'm the future of a lot of, of, of many of you probably listening. I kind of hit my 70th birthday this year, which is kind of great. You know, it's the biblical three score years and 10. But it makes you look at things very differently because you're looking very much at the future and you know, you do want to slow down, but there's going to be a lot of people, and we know this from the stats, especially in the United States, who will not be able to slow down 
and jump off that hamster wheel simply because they don't have the money to do so. So my whole my whole modus operandi, if you want, is to help you take your wisdom to the world and generate income, both active and passive. So really, you can slow down at some time and take control of your own life. If that's an appealing idea to you, say yes in the comment bo box below. Because for me, it's, I'll be honest, this isn't, it's not going to happen overnight. And this is one of the reasons I want to do the series of um, Facebook Lives that get you started early, because it does take time. So if you do feel that you're in that invisible stage right now, that, you know, you're there, you're working hard, you know, because I know you know, that you've got a message that the world needs and that you can take to the world and you want to go from feeling invisible to being seen, then at some point you are going to have to become the red umbrella in this picture. You are going to have to do something that makes you appear visible. And the easiest way to do that today, and like, you know, you hear this all the time, how powerful video is. But if you actually look into the stats, which I'm not going to do today, it is so powerful. The easiest way for you to be seen, for you to become that red umbrella is Facebook Live or any live uh, broadcast. But I think most of us who've been in this biz a year or two now know how powerful Facebook is. And I will talk about this a little bit in the coming coming weeks and coming months. But you almost don't need a website anymore. You can do everything on Facebook. And you can do everything on YouTube, which is one of my favorites and you know, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll put that, at the, that link in the comment box below later as well. But these modalities are free. That magic word, free. So they're free. They're simple. The only thing that is stopping you using these or using them effectively is not making the choice to take the chance to use video and live streaming to change your life which is really what I'm going to talk about in the next few months, because there's absolutely no doubt that the more the more visible you are, the more opportunities will be laid before you. I'm going to help you take your wisdom to the world and create the impact, the influence, the reach and the income that you and your clients desire. Because as I say, if I can help you take your wisdom to the world, so you can take your wisdom to your clients and they can take the wisdom you've given them to their clients. Well, we simply said we can make the world a better place. And I'm sorry if you hear banging on the roof. You may not have heard that. But I have seagulls on the roof that, that play with crabs. So this time in the morning, they seem to bring the crabs up and, and knock them around. They, I think they play football with them on the roof. That was just one big thud for me there. Why is it so important for you for me, for everyone, to really think about doing Facebook Live. And I think it comes down to this change really is the only constant in life. And uh, I love this picture because, I mean, we use that butterfly metaphor all the time. I think Susan, Susan Isaac, I think you're on the, um, I think you're on the call right now. Susan Isaac is a, a, is a, a wonderful um, friend, a uh, stroke client of mine, and she uses this whole metaphor of the transformation of butterflies in her pendants. And in fact, she's just done me a pendant and um, created a beautiful fused glass pendant for me. So, hey, I, I'll show it to you on, the ne on, the, uh, on my next Facebook Live. But it's this whole idea of, of going from who we are now to who we want to be. And um, I love this picture as well, because it shows we don't, that change doesn't happen overnight, night, right? It's, it's, a, it's, a pro, it's a process of, of slowly, slowly taking little steps and eventually each daily step leads to, it leads to an absolutely transformational experience. And I think it's something that we all go through. I mean, I love the, you know, I love the phrase that every, every, like, I'm not the same person today as I was yesterday because we are changing and all the time. I think it's interesting that this, this change is the only constant of life was said by Heraclitus in 500 BC. See, I do this history thing. And so nothing has changed in, way, in a way. I mean, even 
2,500 years ago, they were well aware that things change and we need to go with it. And really and truthfully, if you think about change, without change, there would be no butterflies. And I see every one of us, every one of us who embarks on a journey to grow into who we want to be, to take our message to where we know it can go and who needs us, then then we're all basically doing the chrysalis to butterfly adventure, which is really, really exciting. And um, I think this is a real truth. I, I think it's very profound because I think there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there, small business owners, who are stuck in, this is the way I've always done it, because, you know, as a species, ah, we don't like change. Nobody likes moving out of their comfort zone. But the true entrepreneur always searches for change. And if you look at the people who make a difference, you know, if you look at Elon Musk, if you look at Mark Zuckerberg, if you look at the, the people who are changing the world, it's because they're always looking to the future. And this is what I love to do. What's going to happen? How are things changing? What is going to change in the future that I can exploit today? And I really do think if if you are an entrepreneur or if you're a small business owner and you're not looking forward and you're not searching for changes that can make your business and your life better, well, you're going to stay in that invisible crowd, right? Because I mean, that, that is absolutely inevitable. And I, okay, I know, I confess, I know I should never put a graph on a, on, on, on a presentation because everybody hates graphs. But one of the things that concerns me when I'm coaching is this whole thing of an exponential world. I'm sure you've heard of people saying, oh, we're living in an exponential world. And and, and it's become, oh, sorry, hit that by mistake, but it's become a kind of a, a trite phrase. And, oh, did I just delete my, okay, there you are. I shouldn't have had, I shouldn't have had that slide up. I seem to have deleted it. Let's see if I can bring it back. Yeah, there we go. So, Yes, we are living in an exponential world, but what does that mean to you? And it means something huge, because if you don't fully kind of take into your soul what is happening to us in our world today. I mean, I think we're living in the most exciting time. I mean, I would love to have lived in the Enlightenment, maybe the Renaissance, but this is the third time of total revolution. I don't want to call it age of knowledge, age of technology, whatever, but it's happening around us. And if you are on in the old world and you're going along the blue line at the bottom, you're going on a linear increase, you know, kind of more or less doing the same this year as I did last year. You're really beginning to fall behind. You're staying as the labelia on Mount Kenya and you are staying in the crowd. But the line, the exponential line, the exponential takeoff is the red line. And as you see, the characteristics of an exponential line is that it, it, it doubles in a, in a same time period. So it takes off really, really fast. And this is why I want, I want you all to think about, are you going to take, make the choice to take the chance to, to uh, basically to embrace the change? Because the longer you leave leave this choice, the longer you don't make the choice, the longer you don't take the chance, the more difficult it is to catch up because things are rocketing off. And now is such a good time because the tech has become simple. You actually don't have to learn all the stuff I learned in the last four or five years since I realized how powerful video is. That's all gone. I mean, if you look in the back here, there's my teleprompter at the back. That was state of the art three years ago. And now I hardly ever use it. And it's easy to use, but it's more fiddly. Now, Facebook Live, simple. Ecamm Live, BeLive.tv. So you actually have an opportunity right now to skip from, from before where it was complicated. Boom! I can take you right over that, start you now at how simple this can be going forward. So anyway, that's the end of the graphs. But remember... The longer you don't make this choice, the more difficult it is going to be to catch up. Now's the perfect time because you can jump over it and start where things are simple. You don't need tech anymore. All you need to do is learn how to click that red button and the strategies. And it's the strategies I'm going to talk about in the next few months. 
Alvin Toffler wrote this in the 70s, that the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn and relearn. relearn. And I think that is an amazing statement for 40 years ago. And it's kind of almost my core belief of everything I'm doing, because we do have to learn, unlearn and relearn. And if you're like me, my mission also is to keep absolutely on the cutting edge. And I'm not going to go into how I do that right now, but I'm incredibly fortunate that I have access to all the cutting edge technologies coming out. And I get to know them usually before most other folks. So I can help you relearn these techniques a lot earlier than other people and keep you at the crest of the wave because you need to be on that crest of the wave as it rolls through. You cannot afford to turn your back or put your head in the sand with these changes that are going on. If you want to stay in business, it's going to make it very difficult to be found, to grow and be seen and be known, liked and trusted unless you move into video. I think I'm kind of pushing that point a little bit. You don't need anything complicated. All you need is the iPhone. You need an iPhone and that's actually it. But in this video I was making, I got an, a microphone. I think it's incredibly expensive at 20 bucks and I got a selfie stick and incredibly expensive at maybe 15 bucks. That's all you need to go out and create absolutely perfect video. All you need to get organized in your head is your message. Once you've got your message, once you know what you're going to offer to your peeps, all you need is an iPhone and a microphone and a selfie stick. And I'll put the links to the ones that I use in the comment box below. It is simple, it is easy, all you have to do is do it, okay? I'd love you to join me every week and every two weeks. And let me just see here, because what I want to give you is value. I'm not a marketer. I'm an old bitty retired physician, but I do know where things are going and I know how pow powerful video is. My goal with these Facebook Lives is to give you value value and, and I'm, they're going to be free for the for the moment for the foreseeable future they're going to be free so join me learn while you can and once again let me know what you need in the comment box below and i'm going to come to your comments in a mo and uh and, and, and answer any of your questions but i want you to have incredible value from these facebook lives so again let me know what you need to know Every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, I want to come on and do a relatively short presentation, uh, followed by Q&A. And this will be on my Wisdom to Wealth Mastery page on this page. And every second Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, starting um, the Wednesday after, like nine days from now, and I'll put this in the comment box below as well, I'm going to go live in my Facebook group with a much more detailed teaching. Okay, so my Facebook page, as we're doing today, is, is kind of general to give you an idea. And then we're going to be much more specific in my Facebook group. And I'll leave the link to my Facebook group in the comment box below so you can join up and join me on those as well. If you'd like to start getting an idea of how incredibly powerful video is, that please download my free ebook. It's called Five Easy Ways to Use Video. So if you type five easy ways in the comment box below, I will send you the ebook via messenger. Here's another couple of, a couple of um, testimonials I have again from Susan, uh, who's been my, talk about star pupil. I mean, Susan has gone from being terrified of video to being absolutely amazing with video. Uh, and, um, Susan Blesser once said to me, underneath the techie bits, or at least in a testimonial, underneath the techie bits, Sue was weaving her magic by teaching me how to change my mindset. And it really is truth. Like, yeah, we can do the tech, but the mindset needs to go with it. And I try to cover both. And I had this other recent really nice testimonial. I happened on the Wisdom to Wealth Mastery YouTube video about adding music to a personal video. 
although that was way over my head. I like the easy to understand presentation and I love that someone close to my age was the teacher. <laughs> I think that is, uh, thank you, Mac. That was absolutely fantastic um, comment. Uh, I'm not really looking at people my age. I'm not looking at folks. I'm looking at every age, but I do see this kind of, there's a difference between those of us who grew up before the web in having an understanding of what it's doing. There are some incredibly good kids in their 20s, like in their 20s, for goodness sake, and they're rocking it on the web. And, and I have nothing but great things to say about them. But they grew up having all of this stuff at their fingertips. And I think that makes a difference. I think I have incredible advantages in helping you because I only moved into this world myself a few years ago. So I know exactly where you are and how you feel. It's not like I was, um, you know, if, you look, if I look at my, the metaphor, after 40 years in anesthesiology, I knew it inside out. I could deal with anything that came my way. It's more difficult to remember what it's like to be a beginner when you've been in something 40, 50 years, okay? And I'm still, I've learned fast because, I just, I understand this stuff, but I also know that I can understand how to take, I know how to take it to you too. So for me, um, yes, I'm not looking def definitely at people who are in their 70s. I'm looking at anyone at any age, but I know how you feel and I can help you move along really pretty rapidly. I know video is in your future. There is no doubt. I mean, videos in your future, even if you are a cat. And I also know, this is a real truth, I know that a year from now you will wish you had started today. For the simple reason that, you know, it took you a while to ride a bike well. It took you a while to learn how to drive a car. It takes a while to get good at video. I will guarantee your first video is going to be awful and I suggest you keep it because you get good very quickly and it's always good to have that first video still available to you so you can see how rapid your progress is because I know it will be rapid and as you know with that graph that I put up lost time especially in today's exponential world is it's a real killer for business and I know your business is valuable. I know your wisdom is valuable. So, hey, let's let's start on it now and move you forward simply and easily. Next week, I'm going to show you how I managed to get on a video that now has a quarter of a million views and 1,559 shares. And this is a picture from the video. It shows you how rapidly, if you follow my techniques and my teaching, how rapidly you can get out to the world. I've only been really doing this business uh, coming up to 20 months. And already I am building a YouTube fast. I'm building a Facebook following fast. And as I say, there's a video out there which has a quarter of a million views and 15, 1,559 shares. And it's because it's the message I'm giving you right now. And that message is powerful. All right. I'd love you to join me every Tuesday at uh, nine o'clock Pacific and every other Wednesday at 10 o'clock Pacific. I'd love to take you on this journey to make you confident on camera and to make you happy at making the choice and taking the chance to change your life and really scale your biz and move into this incredible future that we potentially have uh, coming up in the next in the next 10, 20 years. So that's all I'm going to say for today. I see I've got some comments here. I'm going to come to the comments and just see what we have on the comment page here. Let me just refresh that one. And um, let me see. I got it here on my phone. Oh, there's my pal Becky Norwood going live as well. So let me just come down here. I got various little computers going. And okay. <laughs> 
Susan, you're saying, I transform as I listen to this. Thank you for your kind words. And also, Susan says, you make video so easy, Sue. Thanks. For me, I need a system of people to take my video, edit some cases, multi-purpose visit posting and appropriate SEO. I am willing to create video content and post once. Only then someone else goes from there. Where should I post my video once? Susan, that is a really, really good question. And it's a question that I answer in my free ebook, Five Easy Ways to Use Video. If you want, there's absolutely no doubt that right now, if you want your video to go to as many people as possible, you post it live on Facebook. Now, you can post it as a recorded video uh, on Facebook. You can upload it. Um, it's simple. It, it's very, very easy to do. But Facebook itself is really, um, it, it's giving more visibility to those who use Facebook Live. And it's quite interesting, as, as I've seen, I was really lucky. I got in just as video was beginning to take off. And so I've been able to be part of, and I've been able to see this magnificent blossoming of the use of video over really only maybe four to five years. And what Facebook is doing is giving priority to Facebook Live videos. And there's almost a funnel being built. You know, you, you all know the concept of a, a basically a funnel where, you know, you take a whole load of people in at the top and you kind of, they eliminate themselves and they come out the bottom as your ideal audience. And there's a funnel going on with video. It is it is filtering out those who don't use YouTube, and YouTube is a separate case. It's actually, I love YouTube, but that's something I'll talk about coming up in the next couple of months. But the immediacy of Facebook Live is being, is basically uh, filtering out you from the masses. If you want to be the red umbrella in that slide I had a long back, you use Facebook Live. So you, the answer for me to your question is, if I want to post once, you post live on Facebook. And in my PDF, I will show you, I, I tell you how to take it then to multiple other places. It's, um, it's very, very powerful just using Facebook Live. Pamela, yes. Okay, Pamela wants to know how to create Facebook ads that converts readers to clients? Good question, Pamela. Facebook ads. Oh, there is a very, that's a big subject. And again, it's, that's a really good question, Pamela. And it, it shows you how fast things have changed because Facebook ads haven't been around that long. They've been around less than video. Um, I don't know, maybe people have only been using them you know, it's, it's only become popular, shall I say. It's become mainstream in the last maybe two years. Facebook ads are a complex subject, I'll say that. They're not just a question of throwing up a picture, um, choosing your ideal audience, and then having it work. There, in fact, is much more to creating a successful Facebook ad than that. Pamela, I'm going to ask you, just, just um, pop it down in, in the uh, comment box. Have you, have you created any Facebook ads yet? Do you know your ideal audience? And um, what, what kind of success have you had so far? If you can put that into the comment box, that would be great. But um, let me just see if that has come up. Whoops. Because that, okay, that, that, that's a big subject. And it's something I will deal with later on in the, um, in, in, in the month. I think you, as the months go by, Facebook ads are a huge subject. They're not as simple as people think. You need to think your strategy for Facebook ads from the very beginning all the way down to how you're... Yeah, you've gotten a few leads that went... Yeah, I can understand that, uh, Pamela. You, that's the case of a lot of people. You get a few leads, but it doesn't go any further. I have someone who is really 
fantastic at Facebook ads. And um, I'm planning on interviewing her uh, later on in the fall. I I'm planning also on starting a podcast, which will go out on Fridays. So hang around and we will talk about that. And if you want to um, just Facebook message me, Pamela, and I can give you name and names and direct you to folks whom I think are good at Facebook ads. Because there's a lot of people out there who say they're doing well with Facebook ads, but maybe they aren't doing as well as they might say. It's not saying they're, they're, they're misrepresenting themselves, but they are a complex subject. So, so just Facebook message me, Pamela, and um, I'll give you some, some contacts of people I know who are really good at this. That is fantastic. Um, thank you both for, th <laughs> thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, I hope that you will come and join me next Tuesday and every other Wednesday. And then once I get my podcast going, join me on the Friday where I will be interviewing people who can really help you on your way with your journey too. So that's it for now. If you found this video, this Facebook Live to be valuable, please uh, share it to your friends, your groups, um, because the more people I can help with really understanding and realizing how simple video is the better. So I'm coming back now to the, oh, right, oh, hang on, coming back now to the screen how simple this is. There we go. And uh, well, everybody, have a wonderful back to school day. And let me know any questions you have in the comment box below. And I will, uh, I will reply to them. And let's, let's go. Let's get everybody using Facebook Live and other ways of video to, to basically make the choice to take the chance and create and, and change the future so that you really can uh, blossom into who you're meant to become and take your message to those who, I mean, in all honesty, are probably already looking for you, but can't find you because you're either lobelia or you're lost in the crowd. So for now, goodbye from me. And um, hey, I look forward to talking with you again next week. Have a great week. See you then. Bye-bye.